Welcome to Hibbert Health. Today I would like to introduce my guest, Dr. Daryl DeMello, who is a clinician medical doctor in Mumbai, India. And Daryl has had a few discussions with me in the past and we'd like to continue that today. Daryl, would you like to talk to us about how you've been using ivermectin and how it's benefited your patients and helped in the process of treating COVID patients? Now, I would like to also point out that Dr. DeMello has now treated over 7,500 patients successfully using his different protocol that does include ivermectin. So let's talk about ivermectin right now. Thank you, Dr. Jennifer. It's been, it's a pleasure to come back and speak to you on your program. Uh, it's my, uh, you know, my honor to be here with you and I'm happy to talk about ivermectin. I learned about ivermectin uh, early in, in April last year, uh, when that Australian study came out. And that Australian study talked about ivermectin, the, the efficacy of ivermectin, and the fact that one dose would reduce the viral load by so much a percent, 99.8%. So that kind of got my eye. I said, you know what, I was looking for a good uh, drug to reduce the viral load or be as, a, as an antiviral. And I, I looked for something that would work safely, be freely uh, available, and not a very expensive drug. And ivermectin fit, fitted all the bills, fit the bills very well. And uh, I've used it in probably in excess of 50,000 patients so far, 50,000 people in prophylaxis, in uh, uh, patient family members, as well as patients. So in every family, there's, I work with a, like a, at least a four or five or six uh, family members also get covered. So we do give them ivermectin to hopefully reduce the viral load in them in case they're infected. And it's worked very well for me because other family members don't get sick. So for me, I use ivermectin as, as a pure drug for reducing the viral load or prevention of replication of the virus. Uh, it doesn't kill the virus. The body takes care of the remaining part of the virus, but I want the the uh, ability of the virus to grow or replicate in the body cells, I want that reduced. And ivermectin does that for me. Uh, it works really well in, pre in prevention of the replication of the virus. And uh, I use it in, in a, on a very short two-day dosage. So it's, it's, it is two uh, doses for the first day and two doses for the second day. One in the morning, one in the evening, and one in the morning, one in the evening. But I also do a little change. I mean, all my patients have had it on the empty stomach. I do it early morning and at usually at about 6, 7 in the morning, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. in the morning with nothing to eat or drink other than water uh, for two hours after that. Same thing in the early evening at 5, 4 or 5 p.m. If somebody's had lunch at 1 or 2, they can have it at 4 or 5 and then nothing to eat or drink till 7 or 8, depending on again on when they take the, the tablet. That seems to have worked because if with a with a two day dosage uh, and the ability to not to allow the body to get overheated or over respond to the virus, that means something is working in this, and the the body then takes care of the rest. I also firmly believe that, and this is from past uh, reading and from from my own experience I've had, is that after day nine I don't see, you know, the use of using ivermectin. I have other drugs that I use for the anti-inflammatory part and the anti-clotting part. Ivermectin is a great product for reducing the viral load or reducing the virus or prevention of replication of virus. And that helps, you know, kind of a, uh, help the body not to overwork itself to get rid of the virus. So for me, I've used it in the two day, two dose per day, two day dosage. I, in younger kids, in younger people, in people who are less affected, like the family members, I may even go to one dose a day for two days mm -hmm. and stop it. I use a standard 12 milligram dosage. Um, and if you get them in 12 milligram tablets, uh, and if it's a child or somebody younger than 12, I'll give it in a half dose, so it'll be a half tablet. Sometimes just one dose a day. So I, 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 I moderate or titrate my dosages based on the patient, the patient's age, and other family members and all that. So. From a prophylaxis perspective, I use it to start with somebody who's very heavily exposed, who is somebody who's a banker or somebody who's facing customers or somebody who's traveling a lot, it'll be once a week. I don't use it very often uh, because I, again, the, 
if the if we go with the median time to incubation of the virus being 5.2 days, uh, we look at you know the potential of in, of incubation being four to six days on the upper side and downside. And you know if you give the if you give it even at seven days, you still take care of the of the virus basically. And that's the way I work with. I mean, it's a great product. I've probably used it in 100% of my patients, except for the fact for those who come to me too late. If they come to me day 10 onwards, I don't use Avermectin. Thank you so much for sharing because, um, you know, the World Health Organization has recognized Ivermectin too as one of the wonder drugs. And you certainly bringing forward that information in uh, what you're telling us today. Thank you so much for sharing that with us today. I appreciate that. And please continue listening to our videos because we're going to continue on with our series with Dr. DeMello. And we're going to have a discussion coming up soon about long haul. Thank you very much.